Hi, and welcome to another video. In this lesson, we're going to look at capacity, and we're going to explore milliliters and liters. Capacity is a measure of how much liquid could fit inside an object. Capacity is measured in milliliters, which has the symbol ML, or liters, which has the symbol L. We use measuring jugs, measuring spoons, or measuring cylinders to help us measure capacity. A couple of things to remember. In baking, the term one cup means 250 milliliters. And in baking, a teaspoon holds about five milliliters. Alright, so you need to remember there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So if we're changing milliliters into liters, we're going to divide by 1,000. And if we're changing liters back into milliliters, we're going to multiply by 1,000. Right, let's get into some examples. Example number one, this milk container holds 2,000 milliliters of milk. Change this into liters. So we're changing milliliters into liters, so we need to divide by 1,000. So 2,000 divided by 1,000 makes 2 liters. This is a 2 liter milk bottle. Example 2. A medium sized bucket can hold about 9.5 liters. Change this into milliliters. So quickly looking at our diagram, we're changing liters back into milliliters. We need to multiply by 1,000. So 9.5 times 1,000 gives 9,500 milliliters. We often say 9,500 mils. It's a shortcut. Example 3. In New Zealand, the typical size can for a soft drink is 355 milliliters, or 355 mils. Change this into liters. So once again, our diagram, we're changing milliliters into liters. We need to divide by 1,000. So 355 divided by 1,000 gives 0 0.355 litres. Example 4. A typical bathtub might hold about 120 litres. We need to change this into millilitres, or mils. So, another look at our diagram. We're changing litres back into millilitres, so we need to multiply by 1,000. So 120 times 1,000 makes 120,000 millilitres, or 120,000 mils. Great, thank you very much for watching.